can we build an infinite bathroom? Using the beloved Unity game engine. Toilets have always been one of my favorite things, so it's been on my bucket list for a long time to generate a load of them. We already kind of talked about how the island generator for our indie game Islanders works. Today we're gonna ramp up the challenge and build an infinite public bathroom. So here's the question, why am I doing this instead of working on my game? The answer is... You thought there was an answer, didn't you? <laughs> Uh. The level generator of Islanders is fairly simple, so I wanted to try something more sophisticated this time. The almighty wave function collapse algorithm. Which is basically just a fancy way of saying we're gonna take a bunch of puzzle pieces and assemble them into a level. So step number one was making some nice looking puzzle pieces. I started out by creating some simple textures I could later use for the 3D models. Cause obviously we're going 3D, hell yeah baby! You can see that I'm looking a little bit angry. But that is actually not my angry face, that is my I'm focused. Face. My modeling skills were a bit rusty, so this was a nice refreshment. I quickly got my first puzzle pieces built and put them into the engine for testing. It was time for the main challenge, writing the actual algorithm. This is the first time I'm doing something like this, so I had to look up how it works. Luckily there are some great resources like Oskar Stahlberg and this amazing article I found on Gridbox. Okay, I think we're ready for the first test. I'm a little bit scared. Uh... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What is this crap here? Imagine we want to generate some random pipes and the only puzzle piece we have at our disposal is this curved pipe right here. At the beginning we can just put our puzzle piece at any position we want with any rotation we want. But once you've placed it a lot of things are actually not possible anymore. For example here you need to place the pipe either like this or like this. So placing a puzzle piece restricts all of the neighbor pieces, which can then restrict even more of their neighbor pieces. Cause if you only have curved pipes, then obviously placing a pipe like this is not possible. So the almighty wave function collapse algorithm essentially builds a level as if it was solving a logic puzzle. Unfortunately, my wave function collapse didn't quite get it yet. So I called the sheriff. He stood there, sun burning in his Oh no! Hold on, <laughs> why are you telling me you're finished? You're not finished! After a while I finally got it working, but now it was generating these weird vertical lines in the level. I couldn't come up with any logical reason why it would do that, so another round of bug fixing it was. And the gizmos in theory should show how many different tiles can still go at a certain position. In the end of course it turned out it was just one little minus that wasn't supposed to be there. already imagine all of the beautiful toilets. With some newfound motivation I did some research on how to write a proper entropy function. And when I say research I obviously mean... I'ma just, um, you know, grab this formula. Bing bong bing bong. I did some more Cody Cody stuff. Modeled the ceiling tiles for my infinite restroom. Then I reminded you to wishlist Will You Snail on Steam. I'm so sorry. You'll get it eventually. And not to forget hours, 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 hours labeling my puzzle pieces. Cause obviously you need to tell the program which sides can be connected and which can't. Ay ya ya. What did I do? I thought if my algorithm works on a 2D plane, it will surely also work in 3D space. Yeah, I was mistaken. <laughs> it really never stops surprising me. Look at that, now it generated this. Why? Why do I feel like I'm shopping for toilet seats? Uh, this one has like 32k vertices. That's like eh, too much for what I'm planning. I was a little scared to model my own toilets because my modeling skills aren't really all that great, but it went surprisingly well. I also modeled some nice little toilet cabins for some extra privacy. I witnessed some more really strange and confusing bugs. Then I reminded you to wishlist Will You Snail. Modeled even more puzzle pieces, 75 in total. Labeled every side of every cube with my not at all complicated labeling system. 
Now before I show you my finished results, there's one more thing we need to address. The infinite part of the story, right? How do we make it infinite? Grab all of this, it duplicate, because it tiles. It tiles perfectly. So we'll simply generate multiple versions of the level next to each other and then loop the camera around at the edges. What you're about to see is either a public bathroom or modern art. You can tell me in the comments which one of the two you think it is. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, oh, sorry. I was just wondering if you had some toilet paper. <sighs> Do I look like I have any? Excuse me! Does anybody have some toilet paper?